Welcome back to Big Jimmy. You can call me DJ and hello to the bushel of bad apples. Not bad for set up in a flash on a phone. Uh, I wanted to shoot these today because my week is very, very busy and I wanted to get these thank, thank you videos out quickly. So I'm shooting this on Monday. You're probably seeing it on a Tuesday because I wanted to make sure these videos went out as soon as possible. So we're not shooting on the big fancy camera today. We're shooting on the phone. Ugh, this is really hard. It's really hard to justify fancy cameras when wireless microphone hooked up to a cell phone and you can get this. This is perfectly acceptable for YouTube. Please take note of that. Moving on. Um, if y'all remember, I did a video at the, I think, tail end of last year about the problem with YouTube, talking about cigar content and links and blah, 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 blah. Well, one of the people I talked about in that video was this person right here. And uh, that person right there, Zeal Team 6, a.k.a. Bradley of uh, Zeal Cigars. Best Cigar Reviews TNT, if you're old enough to remember that on YouTube. Um, but y'all, for forever, since Frugal Friday has been a thing, have been asking me, have I reviewed any of Zeal Team 6's House Blend Cigars? Have I done any of their House Blend Cigars? And the answer has always been no. And with that, uh, we'll say introduction by myself. It was definitely not a long-standing plan, and I'm definitely not really fucking good at this game. Nothing like that. Uh, I hit up Bradley, and I was like, hey, Bradley, a uh, proposal for you. I do a series talking about really great budget cigars. You happen to have a whole bunch of really great budget cigars on your channel. Maybe? And he said, sounds like a plan. So he sent me this care package right here. Thank you so much, Bradley. I want to say Reese. Is it Reese? If it's Reese, I get five points. I need the Brave browser, thank you, for no reason. I don't know if that's a conspiracy theory browser or what, but I need that browser. It's the only one that works out here. I'm in the Gay Raj, uh, not to be confused with the Straight Raj. This is the Gay Raj, and the Gay Raj works best on the extended Wi-Fi. Reese, what'd I say? Did I say Reese? Reese, I said Reese. I was close. Maybe I was thinking peanut butter cups. Bradley Reith, owner of Zeal Cigars, a.k.a. Zeal Team 6. I uh, can't tell you where I got these cigars from, but I got them from... No, I got them from Bradley. Um, look at this. I asked, send me a couple, and demand sent a lot, which is really, really cool. Thank you, Bradley. I appreciate it. And I was just joking before. It wasn't a long con. I legitimately was trying to help everyone. And then I'm like, while we're here... Worst thing you can say is no. So I asked him for cigars. He's a smart man, so he sent me cigars. Why? Because most people on YouTube don't review cheap cigars. We'll say cheap cigars. Affordable cigars is what I like to call them. Um, frugal cigars. It's an F, so it's Frugal Friday. Most people on YouTube don't review them. I am going to pull up a place where I can find information about them and uh, read the descriptions so we all know. First and foremost, this is the one cigar I did ask him for specifically. I said Irish Hulk, but really I just wanted any Hulk because this is a cigar I get to smoke for St. Patrick's Day. I have run out of cigars for St. Patrick's Day and I'm like, I don't know who's got one and that's Zeal. This right here is Daddy Hulk. This is Hulk Daddy, Hulk Daddy right here. We're all gonna smoke big old Hulk Daddy on St. Patty's Day. Um, that's Patty with two T's because we don't like the D's in this place. So I know it's named out of the wrong person. I know that's incorrect, but I like T's and not D's. Thank you very much for anyone who's curious. Anyway, it's Papa Hulk. I'm going to pull up an internet resource page. The Irish Hulk was such a huge success for the Zeal House Blends. I ate ZHB. I picked it up around the fly there. For those who loved the cigar but always wanted a bit more, we decided to give you the Papa Hulk with not three wrappers, but four wrappers on this cigar. Huh? Well, I have cameras over there. I'm, I got it backwards. Usually my phone is flipped this way. It's flipped this way this time. It's, it's a my thing, not a you thing. This has a Connecticut, a Maduro, a Habano, and Candela wrapper to make this extraordinary cigar a must try for those. If you like Irish Hulk, which I think this one added Connecticut, let me check because I have my internet resource page up. This cigar comes with four wrappers. If you can't tell right there, that's one, two, three, and four if we all passed kindergarten. Uh, Connecticut, Candela, wow. Yes, Candela, but I was trying to say Connecticut. Connecticut, Maduro, Habano, and Candela. Now looking at Irish Hulk, supposedly if you like Irish Hulk, you'll like this one, which makes sense. Irish Hulk has a 
Cameroonian Maduro, Ecuadorian Habano, and Jade Green Candela. That's just a descriptive word. But anyway, uh, I got to ask you, Bradley, or feel free to comment down below, is the Maduro in this one Cameroonian Maduro still, or is that just on the Irish hole? This is going to be my St. Patrick's Day cigar. We just prefer patties over patties in this household. Me, anyway. And if you don't get the joke over T's and D's, I please invite you to watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Bill Hader. All right, next we have the Dominican Criollo. Like a yo-yo Dominican. Okay, so what I just did is I pulled up each cigar on the internet resource page. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure these are zeal unicorns right here. These are zeal unicorns, and my thought process is they got unicorns on them. And underneath the unicorn selection, there is both Criollo 99 and Brazilian Maduro. So I'm assuming that these two right here are zeal unicorns. And it says, zeal unicorns are a collection of exceptional blends meticulously handcrafted by Santiago, De oh, sorry, in Santiago, Dominican Republic. We are proud to present an exclusive lineup of these unique cigars featuring the finest blends carefully selected from our original releases. With a stunning band that Bradley designed himself. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So we got Brazilian and we got Criollo, uh, which I like both. I wish I knew which Brazilian. Does it change the description if I clicked it? Just says Brazilian Maduro. So I don't know if it's Apachipa Chow. <laughs> the old school people will know. Next up, we have, what's this one called? The Mind Blown? Mind Blown. So this is the Mind Blown Habano. It comes wrapped in kind of like newspaper? Yeah, kind of like wrapped in a newspaper. I don't want to unwrap it because then I won't know what it is in my humidor, so we're keeping it wrapped up. But it says, the mind-blown blends of cigars. These are, uh, light up one of these delicious cigars and you'll feel like rethinking your life choices. That doesn't, is that a good thing? Uh, these first puffs are powerful pepper. Ooh, so give this the hound dog. Powerful pepper and spice and then mellows out to smooth, creamy smoke. Fit for a king, okay? So Maduro, I don't have that one. The Habano cigars offer a smooth, creamy. The Habano cigars offer a smooth, creamy blend of wood, nuts, and pepper. I like that. I'm cool with that. 100% cool with that. Next up, I know exactly what this one is because he told me, and that is this triple layered cigar right here. Look at this. It's pretty cool. It's like you get to smoke one of each. You get to smoke a Connecticut a Habano, and a Maduro. And I'm going to read again to make sure that it's true. It is a Connecticut, Habano, and a Maduro. This is called the Nightcap. The Nightcap Cigar is a delectable delight that offers a three-layered smoking experience, starting out with creamy Connecticut, moving to sweet Habano, and then finishing it up with rich, sweet flavors of Maduro. Probably wouldn't recommend chopping it into three little cigars unless you are fucking great with a knife and saglu. Uh, but yeah, this one looks cool, and I'm exported to, to trying it, and it does fit inside of the Frugal Friday price point, so this one for sure gets to be on Frugal Friday. Whiskey Sunset, and it's in a short Gordo. It's a 4 by 60 which is uh, another familiar size that we like on this channel. Let me close out on Nightcap and go to Whiskey Sunset. All right, this is this right here is a pairing of a Nicaraguan binder and Dominican and Nicaraguan filler with a Cameroon wrapper. Okay, again, wrapped in newspaper. Is that a thing that Zeal does often or did I get a little special treat for the wrapping? <laughs> like that. Oh, I probably, I bet I could do that. Hold on, so you guys can see it. So this is a little squatty Cameroon right here, uh, which we like with a uh, Cameroon wrapper. Man, it has been a lot of Cameroon on the cigar channel lately. I'll probably review this one as well. It's it's on, it doesn't quite fit in this size into the uh, Frugal Fridays, but I mean, I smoke it for the views. It's a Nicaraguan binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan filler and a Cameroon wrapper. I'm gonna smoke it. Like this, this will be a review for sure. Nub light cigar. Let's say it like that because I don't want to call it a nub because then people are like I, 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 I. actually yesterday um, today, the day this video is being shot, 
I just dropped my Nub Cameroon video uh, from uh, Oliva. So there's that. All right, next up we have, this is League of Midnight is on the screen. So we'll find League of Midnight here. I'm assuming this is their uh, option to the League of Series by DE. It looks like just a straight up cigar. I'm gonna say it's a Habano. This dark, rich profile of leather, ew, chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate and coffee notes are a true reflection of the night, which draws a tantalizing taste to your taste buds. Tent, which draw, which will draw tantalize, which will, t which each, each draw, not which draw, each draw will tantalize your taste buds. We get a D minus for sight reading today, boys and girls. But it's mainly just boys, but you know what it is. Um, okay, so this is a jet black or scudo wrapper. Uh, toothy, oily, beneath the wrapper lies a blend uh, age long filler from Nicaragua. So is it just Nicaraguan and Oscuro? Where's the Oscuro from? Supposed to be bold and complex. We like that. Liga Midnight is a true gem. So I'm assuming, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know the answer. This is their Liga. This is their Liga uh, killer right here, I'm gonna assume. I'm not gonna assume. That's what this is. Anyway, this is well within, well within the price point. Am I on the right one? Is this a is this a robusto grande? It doesn't matter. Even if you go all the way up to a Toro, you're well within Frugal Friday, sir. So you go over in the Frugal Friday pile, and that's dope. Because if this is a Frugal Liga killer, then I will be sure to let you all know that. Uh, this is spice cream right here. Spice cream cigar is the best-selling product of Zeal House Brands. Very cool. I'll make sure this is one of the first cigars. It's a Nicaraguan puro. Good sir. Is this a Nicaraguan Connecticut? Because I like Nicaraguan Connecticut's. Spice Cream is the best-selling house blend by Zeal Cigars. The Nicaraguan Puro Cigar has brought that brand to its current success. It is a flavorful, reminiscent of vanilla ice, or has a flavor reminiscent of vanilla ice cream cone. Oats of vanilla, honey, wood, and sweet spice. I'm going to hold you to that. And if this tastes anywhere near ice cream, I'm going to let people know. And people know my channel. This is not... The Rainbow is a Unicorns channel. This is not the Rainbow is a Unicorn channel. Another great option for Frugal Friday, a cigar that tastes like ice cream. Go find out. We go find out. That's a bold claim, but we go find out. And last, but certainly not least, we went back to the newspaper. And we're looking at some Caribbean Marauders. The Caribbean Marauder is a highly sought after for its creamy, luxurious flavor. This cigar boasts a smooth and creamy aroma with floral undertones. I don't know why I'm showing you the wrapper, it's just newspaper. Uh, earthy undertones reminiscent of a classic era that first captured the lovers of Cuba. So this is their Cuban-esque cigar. This one right here, again, is outside the size of Frugal Friday, but uh, let me know, uh, supposed to be smooth and creamy with floral undertones, rich, earthy notes reminiscent of the classic era of Cuban cigars. That's what they're alluding to with the description. Thank you so much, Zeal. I appreciate you, Bradley. Like I said, I'm gonna review these cigars. Uh, for sure, feature the ones that fit within the price range of Frugal Friday to be in that series. The rest, I'll smoke either on lives or make shorts. But either way, I appreciate you sending them out. This is pretty dope, man. Uh, I'm really excited about this little Cameroon guy right here because I dig Cameroon cigars and I dig this size format of cigars. So this will be very interesting to see. And it'll be cool, because here's what I'll do this year, because I've been smoking so many Cameroon cigars. Uh, last year, I did top 25 Connecticut cigars, or sorry, top five Connecticut cigars of 2024. This year, I'll probably do top five Cameroon cigars of 2024. And hopefully, this one right here will be on it. What was it called again? Whiskey Sunset. Pretty name. They also sent me stickers, so sticker. Lots of these stickers. Whiskey Sunset. This is the nightcap one, which is pretty dope. And uh, right here, Papa Hulk. So Papa Hulk, Daddy Hulk himself. Uh, what's the Hulk? Wor World Crusher Hulk that looks kind of like this? I can't think of it. Something Hulk, the he's like, the Destroyer of Worlds. I don't remember what Hulk it is. If you are a comic book person, let me know. But he's like God Mode Hulk, basically. Um, I think he's eaten a bunch of the Avengers, too. I don't remember. I'm not a huge comic book person. But anyway, 
Uh, thank you so much, Zeal Cigar, Bradley, all y'all. I'm looking forward to trying these, checking them out. Uh, and hopefully the people who have requested these cigars be reviewed show up and watch the cigars being reviewed because I reached out for all of y'all. Anyways, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube things. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ. Peace be with you. The journey. Peace be the journey. I don't fucking know. I love y'all. Bye.